what I've realized in my own research is that we're never going to experimentally map the brain. I've been studying a small part of the brain for a very long time. It's about the size of a pinhead. And in the size of this pinhead, of about 15 years, my lab in particular has characterized and mapped out about 10 of these pathways. In the rest of the world, about another 15 of these pathways. But very soon, I just did a calculation and realized that there are over 42,000 pathways, synaptic pathways, in this little piece of the brain. And then I realized that we're going to need a new approach, very different approach. We're going to need to take the little bit of data we have, try and understand and glean some principles about how neurons are connecting with each other, and predict the rest. So actually what I see uh, is a new era of predictive neuroscience. And the reason why I'm passionate and excited about this is because for the first time as a neuroscientist, 25 years of digging into the brain and studying, I, I started at the top of the whole brain and worked my way down to genes, but for the first time I see a way out through the forest, that there is a way that we can synthesize, there's a way that we can fill gaps of knowledge through predictions, there's a way we can um, look at these predictions and do much more guided experiments. Um, there's a way that we can see an integrated, we can reach an integrated understanding of the brain across all the levels, from genes all the way to behavior.